Hello everyone, a short video here, but one worth looking at as it shows some of Ukraine's tactics in hunting for drones, notably the Shahed drones which we see from Iran. Now what these photos show is a truck mounted searchlight working in conjunction with a DSHK machine gun mounted on a Ford Ranger. Some of the Ford Rangers were crowdsourced, but in April, Ford themselves donated 50 Ford Rangers to help out, which is pretty cool of them. The DSHK is old, from the 1930s, but despite its age it's still widely used today. It's a very successful design, much like the Maxim, which we've also seen mounted on trucks for use against drones. Now one of the reasons I found this interesting, we seem to see now that actually AA artillery rather than missiles are becoming the go-to defence against the Shahed. We've seen Gepards intercepting them, and likely positioned deliberately near potential targets to intercept the Shaheds. We've seen photos of Maxims paired together to use in an AA role. Czechia has sent a number of victors, truck mounted AA vehicles to Ukraine to be used in an anti drone role too. So for a while, it seems that equipment like this may be outdated and unsophisticated when compared to SAMs and man pads, but they are seeing a bit of a resurgence now as we see drones entering the um, battlefield regularly. It's more cost effective too, as Shahed costs about $20,000. So taking one out, usually the missile itself costs more than the Shahed does. So back to the photos, so the Shaheds are very loud. You know these are coming because they sound like a lawnmower or a moped going overhead. So the spotter hears them and then seeks them out with a high powered searchlight. Then the DSHK operator opens up and the tactics against the Shahed are working. On the 2nd of January, all of the Shaheds, for example, were reported downed. So that's it for this video, I thought it worth taking a look at, if you found it interesting too, please click like and subscribe, I'd appreciate it. Thanks again, and take care everyone.